Hi everyone, Eric Reynolds with your Fox 10 News Now update. A former American Idol contestant wanted for allegedly shooting two people at a recording studio is in custody this morning. Leroy Wells surrendering to police last night. Now you're looking at his most recent mug shot. According to Mobile Police, Wells shot two people outside of Kingdom Enterprises on Three Notch Road late Sunday night. Investigators say that Wells was inside the recording studio when the victims approached the building. Police say that he then opened fire from inside, hitting them several times. Wells is now facing several charges, including second degree assault and discharging a gun into an occupied building. The Interstate 10 bridge may have new life. Transportation uh, planning organizations now in Mobile and Baldwin counties voting yesterday to endorse a new proposal, one with a smaller toll and more free options. The overall price tag, though, is still at $2.1 billion. The proposal includes a new six-lane bridge and a wider bayway that would be elevated higher than the current one to minimize the threat of storm surge. And a $2.50 toll for passenger cars using the bridge or the new bayway. Drivers not wanting to pay the toll, though, would be able to use the causeway, the Wallace or Bankhead tunnels, as well as the Cochrane African Town Bridge toll free as well. Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson seems to be in favor of the latest proposal, but State Auditor Jim Ziegler says that he remains a toll opponent. Most important thing to many of our citizens is there will be no toll options, and there are actually three no toll options. ALDOT and state government have more money now than they've ever had. It is in abundance. We don't have a funding problem without it. We have a management problem. Yesterday's votes come after officials floated an idea over the summer for a truck only toll bridge and a phased in approach to improving the Bayway. But that would have taken some 25 years. Mayor Stimson says that this could be done in about five. As folks in Kentucky, meantime, try to pick up the pieces after last weekend's deadly tornado, some folks in Baldwin County are coming together to help. Local business owner and volunteer John Tesh says that he saw a need in Kentucky and sprang into action. Having partnered with the Piggly Wiggly in Loxley previously to provide Thanksgiving meals, he once again reached out to the store manager who quickly jumped on board. Donation bins are set up now at the Piggly Wiggly stores in Loxley, Spanish Fort, Foley, and in Fairhope. Robertsdale Laundromat is also taking in donations for the Baldwin County Blessing Barn. Warm clothing and blankets are the primary needs. Christine Hicks and her husband drove from Baymanette to donate some clothing. People lost everything. They didn't just lose some belongings, they lost their homes and everything right before Christmas. So um, we just thought we'd, we'd try to help. Starting Monday, John Tesh will be taking at least two trailers of donations to Kentucky. He says that he will make as many trips as needed. I'm meteorologist Michael White with your Fox 10 storm track report. Things are starting off dry on the radar, but we will at least start to see some isolated rain on that thing today, but very few spots will actually end up getting a shower. Most spots will stay rain free, but the coverage will start going up as we head in toward tomorrow and Saturday as we await the arrival of an approaching cold front that will knock the temperatures back down. But in the meantime, we're expecting highs in the mid to upper 70s the next several days. Notice on our section of the Gulf Coast, we're dry. Florida Peninsula dealing with some rain. Louisiana, Arkansas, Texas dealing with some rain. And a lot of this is all showing up in advance of the front, but the front doesn't even come through until Saturday. So between now and then, we stay warm and muggy. And today's overall rain coverage will be in the 10 to 20 percent range, but it will get higher as we head in toward tomorrow and on Saturday. Weather headlines for your Thursday. Patchy fog possible this morning. This afternoon, very warm. High temperatures will be in the upper 70s later today. And then as we look ahead, Saturday rain likely as that cold front begins to approach and push its way through. On the Fox 10 future cast, we run the clock forward and we are going to see plenty of clouds in the sky today. Notice there will be at least some rain possibilities for this afternoon, but not for very many of you at all. And then we'll see those lifting north and fading out tonight and your Friday morning should be cloudy 
and quiet. Here's how the next seven days are going to stack up. You're looking at mid to upper 70s the next several days. Cold front arrives Saturday and then we end up seeing the temperatures going down. The mornings are going to be in the low 60s tomorrow and Saturday and after the front blows through the highs drop down to the mid to low 60s. Morning temperatures even get back down into the mid to upper 40s beginning on Monday. We will be talking more weather throughout the day right here on Fox 10 News Now.